what's up guys welcome to tips tech youtube channel so on today's video i want to show you guys the roadmap to cyber security for those who are new to it so if you've never worked in it this is the roadmap that you can use to get into cyber security so you need to first start here you need to study this courses these are free courses by the way the cisco free cyber security course and google free cyber security course these courses will give you the basics of what you need to know in the cyber security let me open the cisco free cyber security course first so, so that you can see this is the course here six hours of video seven laps and there's a there's an exam at the end of the course and let me open the google one so go to youtube and you search cyber security for beginners google cyber security it will bring you here and then you'll find this course and then you can watch these videos then you'll have uh, the basics of what cyber security is and then the next step is this one you need to study comtia network plus and comtia security plus now these courses they're not free these ones are paid they're not like these ones at number one so these ones at number two you have to pay for these exams but there are free resources that you can get online to study this comtia security uh, security plus you can follow this youtube page professor Mesa. he teaches security plus for free so you can come to this youtube page so here i'm saying you need to study Comtia Network Plus and Security Plus. That's because a lot of the things you find in the Security Plus exam, a lot of that knowledge exists in this Network Plus. So if you study the Network Plus, then it will make it easier for you to pass the Security Plus. So you don't have to go and write the exam. For the network plus you can just study for the knowledge and then move on to the security plus study that and then go write the exam for the security plus the next step is this one you need to do online projects you can use these platforms here hack the box and try hack me let me open try hack me so this is one of those platforms where you can log in, join for free. You can do online projects. So you need to do online projects because when you do go for an interview, they won't only ask you about the certificates, they'll ask you about what projects have you done. Then you can explain to them the projects that you've done online on these platforms. And moving on to the next step is to volunteer. I know this step might not be easy for some people. But if you really, really want experience, I would say you need to volunteer so that you can get that experience. And it will also help you when you apply for a job. You will stand out because you'll have something to talk about during the interview besides the certificates and projects. You'll also add the experience on your CV and you'll also be able to tell the hiring manager that you're also volunteering at this, at this uh, institution or at this business and you'll also tell them what you're doing during the volunteering process. Best places to volunteer are small independent businesses, 
If you are a student at a university, you can volunteer at the library, computer lab, and places like that. And then you add all of that on your CV. And during the interview, you also need to tell them about the projects or the things you are doing during the volunteering process. The next step is step number five. You need to network with the peers in the industry. So if you're studying CompTIA Security Plus, you need to connect with other people who are also studying Security Plus so that uh, you can form some study group, share information. You also need to go to tech events. Some of these tech events might be expensive what you can do is try and volunteer because some of these tech events they are looking for volunteers so you can get into the events for free by volunteering and you'll get to meet people and you will have they can assist you with information so if you can do all these five steps you have a higher chance of landing a job in tech or cyber security. This will make you look good. It will make your CV look good. And during the interview, you will have a lot more to share with the hiring manager. And it will show the hiring manager that uh, you're serious about the industry because the hiring manager will see that you've got projects, you volunteer, you go to events, all of this actions that you're doing need to be part of your CV. So I hope you guys have some knowledge, you learned something. I hope it helps some of you to get a job in the industry. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be posting more content and I will see you guys in the next video.